How's it going? So, as you can probably see in the background, I've torn the laser apart again. Everything was working just fine. The problem is me. I kind of fell in love with light burn, and I want to move this over to where I have light burn running on the machine. But that's besides the point. Since I'm taking it apart anyways, I've got kind of a cool idea for it. Since we swapped this thing over to use a sealed tube rather than my homemade tube, this whole section of the control panel is worthless. It does nothing. These were supposed to control the servos that controlled the needle valves to adjust the gas flow in my flowing gas tube, but now all they do is look cool, which I'm not opposed to, but I figure let's pack some more stuff in this thing. I don't really like the setup in Lightburn to control the Z-axis. It really feels like kind of an afterthought, so I think I'm gonna have it controlled by an Arduino separate from that and since it's totally separate and we are in control of the software for that portion we might as well pamp it a little bit i want to use an ultrasonic distance sensor to auto focus the laser let's do that so first things first i'm going to tackle the hardware so we need to get this guy mounted onto this guy somehow and this would be an excellent opportunity to use a 3d printed part but um <laughs> So we'll just make it out of aluminum. Oh god. So this guy attaches to our gantry right here. Just like that. And no collisions. We did it. So as you can see I've jammed a piece of steel and my welding glove. Got a piece of aluminum clamped here. So hopefully, I don't ruin everything when I do this. So in this hole that we've cut, I'm gonna install this panel. Now, to explain how this is all gonna work, here's a cute little animation. The Z-axis will be controlled by an Arduino Uno and a straight out of China Arduino knockoff that I'm honestly ashamed that I even bought. The knockoffs don't even come with stickers. The knockoff just controls an LCD screen, letting us know what focus setting we have. Attached to the Arduino, we have manual control buttons, a button to send the bed to the bottom, a two inch focus and a four inch focus, our ultrasonic distance sensor, and a stepper drive hooked up to a NEMA 17 stepper motor. Our manual control buttons will just move the bed up and down with no limit switches. Hopefully I don't crash it. The bed to the bottom button will run the stepper motor down until it hits the bottom limit switch. Now, the focus buttons. When one of these is hit, it will take 1500 readings from the ultrasonic distance sensor and average all of those to kind of clean up any fluff in there. It will take that position versus a demand position and take the difference of those two and then move the stepper motor that many steps. Again, no limits. Hopefully we don't crash. I think that's about that for it. If anyone wants to see the code, I'll go ahead and post it on GitHub. Hopefully someone who's better than me at this will make it prettier. Don't mind my mess of a workbench. Here's my two Arduinos with everything hooked together. All these danglies, I just gotta hook up to the buttons. Let me get this installed on the machine and then we can give it a test. All right, I've installed all the electronics. As you can see here, I've just hot glued everything to the Arduinos. <laughs> Manual control seems to work just fine. The bed to the bottom button works good. Now before we actually use the distance sensor, we need to calibrate it. So we'll put this piece of steel underneath and bring the bed to where it's touching the nozzle. Apologies for filming my computer screen. This laptop is so pathetic, I think it would blow up if I tried to do a screen capture. But we have this sketch here, which takes the average of 500 readings of the proximity sensor and we'll print it. So we'll upload this to the Arduino. And I've got the serial monitor open, and now we can just hit this button a couple times. That focus is going insane. It takes quite a bit of time to do this. I'm doing an average of 1500 reads of the ultrasonic sensor, and that can only go so fast because we're kind of married to the speed of sound. Damn you, physics! But, as you can see, we're fairly consistently 
reading 112 millimeters, which is pretty close to the actual measurement. I think the actual measurement is 111 or 110, and of course that's eyeballing it with calipers. Now we do have some outliers here, but I think 112 is our number. Now we can go into our main sketch and update our fixed variable to 112. So now our demand positions are gonna be the focus distance from the lens, plus our fixed position that we just found, which is the distance from the ultrasonic sensor to the bottom of the nozzle. That should do it. All right, as you can see, the laser is back in its home and everything is finally working properly. So, here's our addition to the control panel. As you can see, this button, will move the gantry up and down manually. This red button, got this cute animation while it's loading. Moves the gantry down to the bottom to make it easy to load material. The yellow button, this is where the fun part is. Oh, look at that. So now it's focused for a two inch lens. And then I also have this other button to focus for a four inch, which basically sends it to the bottom. At this point, I might calibrate it for the upper lens, but for now it works. That'll do, man. Despite our readings being within a couple millimeters, it, it seems pretty consistent, especially if I started at the bottom when I'm doing the focus. I don't have a proper way to measure this, but it's supposed to wind up about 3 8 from the lens. And you can see we got a little gap here. These two pieces of aluminum are almost 3 8 Pretty good. I'm happy with it. And the good thing about measuring our focus from the top is it doesn't matter the material thickness. It will always set it to the focus point based on the top of that material. And I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I know this is kind of a short video. I thought it was a cool idea and I thought I'd share it. You know, all I was really gonna upgrade when I opened this thing up was the motion controller, but once I got in there, I was like, oh, I should add this and this and this and this. I got a problem. <laughs> it's like I don't want this project to end. Anyway, if you like what you saw, leave a good old danger. Think about subscribing and thank you for watching.